first of all uh, dr sudeep we would like to know uh, what was your study pattern during mbbs days yes sir so during mbbs uh, i wouldn't say i was a very regular student i didn't used to study uh, the subjects on every single day but i made sure i was consistent in my studying i used to study maybe sometimes if i left out something i used to study in the weekends but it was pretty much regular it was pretty much consistent with what was going on in the classroom and uh, always i would always suggest everyone whoever asked me i'm like study the standard textbooks because during your mbbs standard textbooks are the things that give you a edge for your for you as a doctor as well as for the entrance exams as well standard textbooks are something which give a lot of info which give uh, it's something which you can quote elsewhere you can't quote maybe if it's not some a very standard book you can't quote it outside and this is something which gives you the confidence to quote as well and the so concepts I, also become very clear right yes sir especially like some books which are which i love are ganong and uh, robins these are like some of the I, i i think some of the best books i have read in during my mbbs course as well so your foundation was very pretty strong with the yes, con- good concepts uh, understanding of the concepts yes, so you just worked on that with on foundation to, to yes, achieve what are possible now so this gives you a very strong foundation and everything else is just like building on some of the topics some memory based like neat as a some things which are memory based so you're just building on something which you already know and that actually helps you a lot when you're preparing for the exam great so when exactly you started preparing for this pg entrance exam uh, i started making notes for the exam since sec- uh, second year but uh, i didn't uh, study the notes i just made them and kept it ready for th- during internship because during internship you don't get time to make notes yeah. so if the notes are ready then yeah, for you, you can just study them during your internship but uh, per se during internship i started for the exam as such but other uh, making notes started in second year so i just used to internship you could read up uh? uh yes sir because of covid it was uh, yeah. comparatively a little on the lighter side but in evenings I, i used to go back in the evening or afternoon depending on some subjects some of the departments used to let us go in the afternoon because of covid there were very few cases and there were no elective cases and all in surgical departments so that helped a little what was your study strategy uh, yes. maybe 3 months before the exam uh so uh, i have my goal was to complete at least one reading 3 to 4 months before the exam and this used to be a very thorough reading and in that time my first reading i should take almost a week for uh, big subjects and almost 3 to 4 days for smaller subjects or sometimes even lesser depending on how easy i found the subject or how tough i found the subject in the last 3 months i would suggest you get at least two revisions two to three revisions the more number of revisions the better it is i had always suggest uh, i think one of the professors told the number of revisions are for neat pg the number of revisions are more important than quality so if you read three or four times it's much more uh, same be- thing yeah yes. if you revise no regular and repeated revisions more yes. important so that actually helped and during uh, my last month of the exam what i this is something which i could have started a little earlier but i realized it very late uh, i used to revise every 3 to 4 days so your retention increases drastically yeah. so at least at least over the weekend just revise everything like if you read two subjects revise the two subjects next week you'll be done with five four or five subjects revise all four five subjects just go through it just read just read it even if you don't read word by word okay. flip through the pages yeah. read the absent word yeah. Yes. so it's a kind of a revision that happens as well so this is what i used to do 3 months as well as in the last month and my goal during my last month again was to finish one more revision in the last month on an average of one subject per day so 21 days it would finish the whole revision again and again in the last week i used to revise once more so just at least, no, i mean obviously in the last one week you can't read the whole thing but at least flip through most of the subjects all 19 subjects just go through the book you might just see one word which might come in the exam you never know so go through the, uh, i made a made it a point to go through all the 19 books in the last one week or 10 days and again in the last one or two days again i used to yeah. go through the topics which are exam yes. how you are feeling as uh, today i it used to be very stressful because i this is something which decides your life and if you miss it yeah. again you uh, have to spend one more year studying and the struggle is real so i one of the reasons i was working very hard during then was to make sure i don't have to sit, study again study all the 19 <laughs> subjects again so that was one thing that kept me going at some point so again in the last day last day of the exam i used to study all the important topics 
the you know that when you see the uh, paper previous year papers and when you uh, uh, when you study as well you get to know what is important there are some topic the pet topics of the exam which repeat every single year and something which cannot be missed and i used to study something which are rare but are volatile for me and this is something which you get to know during the course of your studying you know okay this is a topic where i keep forgetting again and again some stagings for me it was biochemistry the inversions of metabolism with regards to mucopolysaccharidosis pingolipidosis porphyria this is something which i used to forget and i used to tend to forget this so i used to study this on the day of the exam one one day before the exam so deep uh, what do you think is the best part of your preparation what you did the best Uh, looking now. <laughs> okay, so one thing is one when, since I studied so much, I I felt like I knew a lot of things. So this is something that gave me real Confidence. happiness. Yes. Yeah. So I I felt like I knew a lot of subject and a lot of things. So that gave me a lot of confidence, and I felt Hard good work. as a doctor. Along with the confidence, yes, is a uh, formula of your success now. Yeah. Okay. You did the hard work, definitely. Yes, sir, definitely. Also, more than that, you are feeling very confident about your preparations and all. Yes, sir. That is, uh, I think, a way to success. Great. Vice versa, uh, what do you think you should not have done? Ah, uh, I felt uh, I didn't work out on previous year papers a lot compared to what everyone else does. So that was something which I was uh, slightly bad at. And uh, reviewing is something which I didn't do. I didn't do a lot of reviews. I did the wrong ones, but not everything. So uh, I, I. Tell this was my weak points. Okay. So this was something so I should have. So you already told the significant importance of the revisions. Already you yes. stressed on. And uh, second thing now, or the mistake you did was you could have done much more uh, uh, MCQs. You could have solved previous year MCQs. Yes, sir. Uh, that would have helped you uh, yes, from sir. 18th rank to <laughs> what more you want, man? <laughs> no, sir. I'm really happy. No, I'm fine with yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one or two marks difference between you yeah, and the uh, 80th rank i don't find any difference so uh, how you are a, you look very what jovial person and very cool guy okay what is the secret behind that how you really manage your stress levels and how you keep your, uh, yourself relaxed uh, so stress is something which is uh, especially this year with a lot of postponement postponements and our studying stretch to almost one year <laughs> so More that was your own thing you were stressed by these external factors yeah yes, so this was very stressful plus the always you have the stress of to do well in the exam to get into a good institute so what i used to do was one thing if i found very stressful was go take a break sleep sleep was something that helped a little and i would suggest you to go out as well go for a drive or you can go for a walk anything that's good you can probably uh, i joined the gym after my neat pg so i was going there i was going out so this helps you to reduce stress and one more thing is you can go out, you can meet friends obviously and when you go meet friends stop talking about neat pg okay. you can meet you can meet them over lunch or dinner of and, topic yes sir and one more thing is that uh, uh, one the thing is when you go out you feel like you're wasting time so you can go out for either lunch or dinner or something so you feel okay i'm also getting my dinner yeah. the one hour of my break i'm incorporating into meeting friends so it also helps you feel better as well as uh, reduces the guilt of wasting time so you used to play sports or any cultural activities during your mbbs days uh during my mbbs days i used to play football okay but that reduced because it's of like, it's like a, football is like a culture there everyone will play <laughs> you have very good team i have played okay and any cultural activities uh cultural not so much no. i used to go for quizzes but Quizzes, quizzes. Mainly medical quizzes, but sometimes if I was very bored at home, I, we used to just go for some random quiz, general quiz or something. I mean, if, just for being there. Yeah. So now you have got a incredibly good rank, eighteenth rank. What's your future plans, like Sudeep? What do you want to take up, and uh, where, and why? Uh, I want to take up medicine, sir. Okay. And okay. in either uh, uh, one of the central institutes, all are, all of them I know are equally good. So. Yeah. Per se, it does not matter where we do. Doesn't take. matter where yes, you get. You have equally equally good opportunities everywhere. Yes, so and Why medicine. Med- medicine is something which I loved a lot. So right. even since uh, beginning, I used to love reading it. Even in my third year, whenever I read it, it is something which goes into my head very easily, okay. and hence I loved it a lot. It is not stressful to read medicines. I enjoy reading Harrison. It was a. I felt it's a very beautiful book, and it has a lot of concepts compared to memory based things. So that's something which I love. and I, and medicine per se has uh, high a lot of patient interaction 
that is something which i more than everything you know now the big thing you don't know you'll realize soon now once you join now that medicine your mind yes. right hand is now interventions yes, even you are like a half surgeon half a physician man okay yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, like uh, all the like take any branch which which, which branch you want to take up for dm you have any plans uh nothing yet as of now sir no okay. for example you take cardiology if you yes, take sir. okay now uh, medicine of the cardiology on one hand you will do echo with the other uh, hand you will do all the device closures all the stenting and everything yes, you yes, take up gastro you do all the interventions to the endoscopy and the colonoscopy yes, you take up for uh, nephro like all any branch the the interventional uh, this thing has come up in a very big way in medicine so yes, you will never you will have that uh, thrilling uh, surgical uh, feel also and also like uh, you whatever you said patient interaction vast knowledge you the yes, most sir. resourceful person among the entire medical fraternity okay it's a really great feeling because yes. you will be the uh, most useful for the maximum uh, needy people yes, sir. maximum yes, sir. patients yes, sir. that way you feel proud about yourself yes, so one thing i missed uh, dr sudeep that um, how did you really perform on the day of examination what was your preparedness and the performance on the day of examination uh, so on the day of my exam Uh, a lot of people suggest you stop studying 3 hours before or on the day of the exam don't read but that is something which i couldn't do personally because i felt like you even if in the last minute if you see something it might come so i had this anxiety it's, it's just to avoid the stress if you don't yes. have stress then there is no need to stop you can uh, continue okay yes, it's only just to elevate the anxiety levels okay they say like that But yeah, if you are cool enough, your intention is something yes. different. Then definitely, what you have done is perfectly good. All right. So, yeah, I'd suggest you work out what fits you. That is very important. Yeah, absolutely. For the exam. Absolutely. You should not blindly follow others or others' yes. suggestions. You should do whatever fits to you. You can listen from other, listen to others, take suggestions. Finally, you have to do what best suits you. That you should realize. Yeah. Great. Well said. Yes. and also i feel like you should work on how to reduce stress because stress has a huge effect on how you perform during the exam so once i went into the hall i forgot everything i was like okay i'm not even revising in my head i just close my eyes i just sit in front of the computer and just relax there not thinking about medicine at all probably thinking of what you'll do after the exam or something like that but not thinking about the subject because even if you don't know something there's no way you can get to know it now i didn't think it's just stress <laughs> so that was something and i felt one thing is a lot of people have very skewed uh, sleeping schedules do, uh, till the exam yeah. so at least two weeks before the exam you should try to set your sleeping schedule so that you stay awake and fresh during the exam during the time of the exam as well as uh, try solving questions in that 3 hours of time so you're exactly. used to sitting in front of the question, uh, computer Same for that period of time to my juniors also you should get your circuit in rhythm back to the normal yes, yes, yes. before the exam if you're having exam between 9 to 12 every day try to uh, solve the grand test during that time 9 to 12 every day so what happens your mind will be well prepared when at uh, like alarm when it 9 o'clock oh it's exam time exam time so mind will be acclimatization yeah, yeah. it's called our simple physiology it's called acclimatization yes, to climb into everest we can't directly go there even though we are physically fit yes, okay you have to climb small small uh, to get uh, acclimatized for the oxygen levels and all so this thing very good strategy you have given uh, us and uh, yeah you so you told you have solved very less uh, mcqs okay uh, no let so how you could tackle uh, how you could tackle uh, when you get some uh, relatively difficult questions with some confusing options how could you tackle them i i solved less previous year papers sir but okay. mcqs i used to solve yes, uh, regularly and i used to solve a lot of mcqs and this uh, this is very important because this helps you in the exam to decide between confusing options because you, are, you uh, if you read it everything and you don't solve a single mcq they are going to be confusing options in the exam so when only when you solve the mcqs you'll know how are the confusing what are the confusing options and how they the examiner might confuse you in the exam so uh, for especially for competitive exams i would say more than the knowledge even reading the mind of the examiner is extremely important because you should know how they're going to set the paper and what they want what what they want to know from you in this question Yes, <laughs> so we should try to read their minds because you know okay this is what they want from me in the exam this is what they want from me this is these are the options these are the diagnosis of these options and they want this from me so that that even if you don't know the if you don't have an idea of the question you can probably solve by the options as well so that's important for at least one or two questions which 
helps you in with a lot of ranks so what's your word of words of some wisdom or words of like your practical experience uh, you have achieved uh, mr yeah. sudeep you are yes. achiever okay we are really proud of you your achievement your success yes. now it's your turn or your duty it becomes your responsibility to guide the juniors to uh, take your path of success yes. so what you uh, frankly or genuinely opine i'd suggest everyone during the course of mbas study regularly and keep studying a lot i mean i wouldn't tell study don't do anything other than studying but keep studying as your main focus during mbas and this studying should not be focused for neat pg you should be studying to become a doctor because yeah. at the end of the day we are studying to become doctors not to crack neat pg that's a secondary goal but your primary goal is to know diseases treat patients that should be your primary goal during your mbas and especially for exam going students now there's only 4 months left and i tell 4 months is sufficient enough time to re- read and get a very good rank not just a decent rank but a good rank if you put in the hard work and for especially for neat pg i would say it's not either work hard or work smart it's both you need to work hard as well as work smart, smart. because smart in the sense you need to because you have a limited time you should work smart and working hard is especially important because this is an exam which where being smart is not sufficient you need to rework really hard even there are a lot of memory based things which can be asked and you should study all of them and i'd say put your heart out for it in 4 months if you work really hard this decides your 3 years as well as your future life so put your even if you are um, la- uh, if you feel sad uh, think about what you'll do after the exam keep it going don't waste a single day so just what keep looking hard motivate you like what was the self motivating factor for you uh, for me i wanted to do md in a very good college okay. and medicine per se so yeah. and medicine cut offs are really high so that was something which kept me going yeah that dream yeah you have to chase your dreams yes, okay, then uh, everything is possible uh, really dear i have seen so many juniors so many students uh, were exceptionally good extraordinary and Thanks your views your insights inputs are really amazing okay uh, very crisp and clear and hopefully the maximum students get benefited uh, by your views and uh, insights and Thank please you. do keep helping us uh, yes, supporting sir. us you will be a great physician uh, maybe a future neurologist or cardiologist for sure no doubt about that uh, looking at your potential so nothing is impossible for you you have already shown it so please don't forget don't forget us okay mm-hmm. the lovely juniors yeah. out there so yes, keep sir. helping us supporting us whatever yes. in a possible you'll be getting a lot of cases interesting cases in the yes, institutes so do keep sharing us yeah, i still remember yes, uh, i don't know which year uh, Uh, you are a member of white army and uh, i had conducted ecg yes, competition sir. and you had secured second uh, when you were in internship yes, yeah i remember you had uh, secured second prize in that okay yes. since that time I, re- i remember you well and yes. uh, yeah you are you are a special uh, student okay for sure thank so you have the potential and uh, be the best possible doctor and serve the, all the needy yes. and uh, be the good teacher also uh, and teach others Okay, yes. and uh, serve in whatever the way possible. Yes. Once again, wish you all the success and happiness in life. Thank you so much for your valuable time and uh, inputs. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, sir.